Last tab in the properties is device information. As the name implies, device information gives you information about the printer. And what you can see here directly is the firmware for the three boards which are inside the printer and also the driver you are using. Quick word on those three firmware, one for the main board, one for the halogen control board and one for the media authentication board. Those three firmwares are set up automatically when you download a new firmware taken from the website. On the website you will have only one file and when you send this file to the printer it will automatically set up the three firmware for the three boards. So you don't have to do it three times, you just do it one time. However, contrary to uh, P1X and S330, uh, it takes minutes for the firmware to be uploaded to the printer. So just be patient there where you can expect something like 20-25 seconds on the 330, it's probably going to take five minutes uh, on a uh, ZXP. During that for those five minutes you should not have a power outage uh, for the supply. If you are unfortunate enough to have a power outage then you probably have to replace the printer. Driver here, just check uh, on the uh, website if uh, you have the latest or not. Okay, You can upgrade the driver and it will give you also the serial number of the printer. Just as a matter of uh, information, the three firmware here and the serial number here are automatically listed on the operator control panel from the printer. So you should not have to go inside the driver to read which firmware and the serial number of the printer. The only thing you are not going to get from the printer is the driver version. So if you need to know firmware and driver version, your only solution is to open the driver, go in device information and look over thing over here. You have here the media information and it shows you by bars and also by numbers how many cards you still have uh, to, you are still able to print using this ribbon, which is in this case YMC UVK, and for the transfer film. So every time you are going to print something, those bars here are going to go to the empty side until you reach zero and you have to replace them.